G'day kids, make sure you hit the subscribe button, that way you won't miss out on any of the new videos that come out. Until then, enjoy this one. Ozzy is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. G'day kids, Ozzy here. Well, I'm just finishing off filling this tank of water so that we can play a really fun game of sink or float. Have you ever played that before? So what is sink or float? Well, you need to guess whether these objects will either sink to the bottom or float on top of the water. So let's start with something that might be a little bit obvious. I've got a pebble here and let's go with a rubber ducky. Now, who thinks the pebble's gonna sink or float? Let's find out. It sinks. It's sunk all the way to the bottom. What about our rubber ducky? Let's see if it sinks or floats. There he is. He's floating on top of the water. So kids, that's one point to the float and one point to the sink. Did you get it right? Now let me just explain a little bit of the science behind this, kids. Whether something sinks or floats comes down to a thing called density. Now, everything here, all of these objects, are made up of tiny little things called molecules. Now, if the molecules are packed really tightly together, like the rock, they're gonna sink to the bottom. If they're loosely packed together, they're going to float, like the rubber ducky. So that is actually what's called density. So, let's have a look at what else we've got here on the table and see if you can guess whether it sinks or floats. All right, so we've got lots of different objects here. Let's start with some fruit. Look, we've got a couple of apples and an orange, but is it going to sink or float? Apples, sink or float? Ooh, I thought it was gonna sink, but it floats. And of course, so does that one. But what about our orange? It's also floating. All right, some more food. What about a banana? What do you reckon, kids? You wanna phone a friend? Is it gonna sink or is it gonna float? It also floats. So all of those fruits there, kids, are less dense than the water, and that's why it floats to the top and sits on the surface. Okay, so we've seen that our fruit floats. Let's see if we can find something that maybe sinks. What do you think about some cutlery? Do you use a knife and fork when you're eating your food? It feels pretty dense. So do, do you think it's gonna float or do you think it's gonna sink? Well, the knife sinks and the fork sinks. So it's two points to the cutlery. What about something else that looks hard? Pegs, they look dense. Sink or float? They sink too, but they take a little bit longer to get to the bottom, don't they? All right, let's see what else we've got on the table. Let's see if these ones sink or float. Now, does anyone know who this is? Bluey, of course, and Bingo. Yep, two our of our favorite characters. Are they gonna sink or are they gonna float? Bluey floats and Bingo floats. So a couple more points to the floaters. What about this? Who's this? Is that Marshall? Let's see if Marshall sinks or floats. Marshall floats too. All right, what about a set of keys? Do we think they're dense or less dense than water? Let's find out, sink or float? Sink, well done kids. Are you doing well at home? Are you guessing them correctly? All right, let's see what these animals can do over here. We've got a whale shark, it's big. Oh, but it's also, I just squirted myself. <laughs> so we've got a whale shark. Do we think it's gonna sink or float? Yeah, that's gonna float. What about a crocodile? Hey, I think it's also hollow. So it's got air inside it, so it's probably less dense than water. So 
it floats too. What? It sunk! Now how did that happen? It looked like it was sitting on the top and it was going to float, but it tricked me. The crocodile tricked me. Did it trick you guys too? Oh, that one was a surprise. What about some other animals over here? Well, we know dolphins in real life. They can go through the water. They're very comfortable in water. They can sit on the surface and swim around. They can also go really deep. Is it going to sink or float? Yeah, that's a floater. What about this beautiful looking giraffe? It's pretty hard, I can tell you. It's quite dense, it feels dense. Let's find out if it's denser than water. No, it floats too. So another point for a floating object. What about this one? Whoa, it's pretty heavy. It's actually not that heavy. It's quite hard and rubbery. I think it's gonna float. But what do you think? Let's find out. That floats as well. Oh my goodness, so there's so many things in here. I'm gonna take some out so that we've got some room to play with these other objects that I've got on the table. I'm just gonna pop them over here. Okay, we'll take our fruit out. We'll make a fruit salad later. It's almost lunchtime, so maybe we can make a fruit salad for lunch. Nice healthy lunch, hey. All right, what else have we got? What about some superheroes? Oh, wow, who's this guy? Who's this? Batman. And who's this? Iron Man. Now, what do we reckon? Batman can fly through the air and Iron Man can pretty much do everything. So, how are they gonna deal with water? Are they gonna sink or float? Batman, it's just floating on top of the water there. What about Iron Man? Let's dive him in. No, he wants to float as well. So both superheroes can float on top of the water. How cool. All right, what about some shells? Do we find shells floating in the water? Do we find them washed up on the beach? Do we find them on the bottom of the water? Well, let's find out. Does this shell sink or float? That's right, it's quite dense. It's a lot denser than water. So that one's gonna sink. That one's also going to sink. But this is a beautiful piece of coral. It's quite hard as well, but I think it's got some air pockets inside it. So is it dense or is it less dense than water? That's much more dense than water and that's why it's sinking. Now, we've got a pretty Aussie item over here. A thong, we call this a thong in Australia, don't we? Also known as a flip-flop or a jandal. Now let's see, it feels pretty dense. Is it going to sink or float? What do you think? That floats as well, which is lucky, because if you lose your thongs, or your flip-flops, or your jandals, when you're swimming in the pool or at the beach, you can just float back to your kind of. All right, let's get these guys out. Rubber ducky can sit there. We'll give rubber ducky a friend. We know what this one's gonna do, don't we? It's gonna float. All right, what about some of my favorite stuff? Lego. Okay, Lego's really hard, isn't it? But it's also quite light, so I am unsure. Is it going to sink or float? Let's go. Is it sinking? Is it floating? Look at that. So this yellow one is slowly, slowly sinking. So it's it's sort of the, almost the same density as water. And so is this piece of Lego, this piece of Duplo. What about the smaller Lego? I do have some of that. Let's find out if it's the same. Is it going to sort of half sink or half float? All right, a bit of Lego in here. Okay, so that's much lighter. That's much less dense than the Duplo. So it's floating. But look at that yellow piece of Duplo down there. That's actually sunk all the way to the bottom. I'm not sure why this one is still, you know why? I think because it's got a bit of air in it and that's helping keep it buoyant. Do you know what buoyant means? Buoyant means it's sitting on top of the water. 
So it's got some air in it, which is helping keep its buoyancy. It's helping it float. Okay, what else? We've got some food here. Some baked beans, who loves baked beans? I love baked beans for brekkie. That's a, a closed can of baked beans, pretty heavy. It's pretty dense. Let's see what it's gonna do. That's gonna sink. That's gonna sink all the way to the bottom very quickly. What about our favorite breakfast spread or any time of day really, Vegemite sandwich, Vegemite toast, Vegemite on celery, Vegemite on carrot. Some people put Vegemite on all sorts of things. I love it. Let's pop it in here and see if it's gonna sink or float. Straight to the bottom. I'm gonna get that out because I wanna have some Vegemite on my sandwich for lunch later and then finish off with a fruit salad. So we're gonna pop that over here. But while we're doing some food, I've got some eggs here. Eggs are really hard, aren't they? They're really hard, but they've got you know, the runny yolk inside it. So let's see if an egg sinks or floats. What do you think, kids? There you go, it sinks. Should we put another one in? Just to make sure, let's make sure. Of course, that's much more dense than water and that's why it's sinking. What about a plastic bottle? You think a plastic bottle is gonna sink or float? Well, let's find out. It's going to, to float on the surface there. What about a can? Cans are hard, right? We saw that can down there sink. Is this can going to sink or float? Well, it is empty, so there's nothing inside it. So I think that's going to determine whether it sinks or floats. And I think, you tell me, sink or float? Got it? Got your answer? Okay, I think it's going to float. Definitely going to float. Let me show you a quick trick though. What happens if I fill it with water? almost full of water, there's still a little bit of air in there. Look what happens. So that can, once it fills with water, it gets heavier and more dense because of the water inside it, it gets more dense than the water and sinks. So it did float when it was full of air, now it's full of water, so it's sinking. What else can we find here? What about some pencils? Okay, sink or float? Float, really light wood less dense, those molecules are quite spread out. So that's gonna float. What about? Party time! Sink or float? That's a floater. Yep. What about golf balls? We've got two golf balls here. We've got a yellow, really bright yellow, and a white one. Do you think that one's gonna sink and one's gonna float? Let's find out. Yeah. They sink all the way to the bottom. Unfortunately, because when you're on the golf course and you hit it into the water, they sink to the bottom and then you can't see it, you can't find it. Problem I have all the time because I can't get my shots straight. But hey, what about a leaf? It's really light. So what do you reckon, sink or float? That's a floater. Another point to the float. What about this beautifully painted rock? Look at that. Some of Aussie's favorite colors on there. That feels really dense. I think I know what it's gonna do, but you tell me, you have a guess? Sink or float? Yeah, straight to the bottom. That's definitely a sinker. Ooh. What about some crayons? Yellow and green, two of my favorite colors. Are they going to sink or are they going to float? Well, there's one way to find out. Wow, so crayons sink, but pencils float. I'm just gonna take those out because I wanna make sure that they don't get ruined. I wanna make sure that I can color in with those later and draw and write. All right, we've well, got some cars, some Matchbox cars. We know that red cars go super fast, but will they sink or will they float? Well, let's find out. Straight to the bottom, that's really dense. About the yellow one, it does feel a little bit lighter, but still way more dense than water. So that's why that one's sinking. Speaking of cars, oh, trucks. This one is a recycling truck. Do you know what that logo is, that symbol? That's the recycling symbol. 
So that's where you put all of your recyclable goods like plastic bottles and milk cartons and cardboard and paper. But let's see if this truck can sink or if it can float. So at the moment, it's floating. But I think it's slowly filling up with water. And as it does, just like that can before, I think you might find that it will become not a sinker, it's a floater. So even though it's got lots of water in it, that plastic, the molecules in that plastic are spread apart enough to make sure that it's less dense than water. And that's why it's still sitting buoyant on top of the water, just like that. All right, coat hangers, one is metal and one is plastic. But are they gonna do the same thing? Let's see what happens when we put them in the water. The plastic one floats. The metal one, straight to the bottom. So metal, the metal that's used in the coat hanger is much more dense than the plastic that's used in this one. Metal sinks, the plastic coat hanger floats. What about this chunky piece of wood? Feels dense to me. I think it's gonna be a sinker. Huh? How so? It's almost like magic. But no, wood, although it looks quite dense, it's actually loosely packed molecules in there. And that's why that is just floating on top of the water, just like that. All right, we've got a chuppa chup. Now, do we wanna just eat this and save it for later? Or should we see if it sinks or floats? That sunk, but quick, let's get it out before it destroys it because I wanna eat that maybe as a treat after I've had my Vegemite sandwich and my fruit salad. And then if I'm a good boy today, maybe I can finish with that. One last thing, this little guy, my, my little buddy, Ozzy, my little Lego Ozzy, I'm gonna see if Ozzy likes to go for a swim. If he's been practicing his swimming lessons, is he going to be buoyant? stay on top of the surface and float, or is he going to sink and we're gonna to need to rescue him? Let's go. Three, two, one, go Ozzy! <coughs> Good boy, Ozzy. You've managed to float, and then we're gonna stand you up there on your little wooden boat. So there you go, kids. That's a good fun game of sink or float. Did you guess all of the items correctly? Because I know some of them actually tricked me. I wasn't sure if some of them were going to sink or float, but now I know. And you can do this with all sorts of objects that you find at home, around your house, or in your garden. And you can learn all about density and buoyancy and all of those molecules that make up all the objects. Kids, I hope you've had fun today. Maybe you can try this at home on your own or with your, your friends or your parents, grown-ups, and you have lots of fun trying it and figuring out what all the objects do. Kids, we'll see you on another episode of Aussie very soon. Until then, stay keen. Hey kids, did you have lots of fun today watching Aussie? I hope so. Did you know that we've got a heap of Aussie episodes on our YouTube channel? If you haven't already, go back and have a scroll through. I reckon you'll find some others that you absolutely love. And while you're there, why don't you hit subscribe? That way you won't miss out on any of our new videos that we bring out. We'll see you again soon, kids. Until then, stay keen. Oh, and by the way, did you happen to find the hidden Aussie icon in that video? Yeah, make sure you look closely because they're in every single video. That's right. Stay keen, kids. Aussie, 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 oi. Aussie is a friend of yours, and he's a friend of mine. G'day, Aussie. G'day, Aussie. G'day, Aussie. G'day, Aussie. G'day, Aussie. G'day, Aussie. Aussie. Hang on a sec. How is the yellow Duplo now floating? and the brown Duplo sinking. That's a mystery. Kids, if you figure it out, make sure you send me a message and tell me how that is possible. See you soon, stay keen.